Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall. I'm in Northern California. Before I begin, do me a huge favor, you know, against this YouTube suppression of these important messages. Just stop and pause and hit the like button. Everybody, just hit the like button on every video I make. I want to, I want to get these messages out for such a time as this. It's important. Thank you. Um, I met Brother Buddy Smith in 2015 when we were doing the Jesus Matters movement going from capital to capital we were in Oklahoma City Oklahoma they were going to remove the Ten Commandments and we gathered a bunch of people and did a Jericho march around it and that is where I met brother buddy from the Lord's Hour uh, he's a he's a, a mighty man of God and um, I love his fellowship he is the brother buddy and his wife, uh, Sister Brenda, in Texas there, are the, the lead intercessor uh, prayer warriors, for lead, the lead for intercessing prayers uh, at Righteous Cry Ministries for our online fellowship and sermons. And he sent me this uh, Sunday morning, 12-3. It's called A Vision and a Dream, and I want to share it with you. This is his writing unedited so it says it was a beautiful day and me and sis Brenda were with some kids now this is a dream he's having and then it turns into a vision we are out walking near our apartments where we live now there is walking paths near the river by us when suddenly the sky was filled with jet fighters and higher bombers over our city these were not American ones at first Based on what I saw, these were Russian and Chinese planes. Our planes came, uh, our planes came too, and the fight was on. The bombers were trying to drop bombs on our base here. We took the children and ran back to our apartments. Bombs dropping, huge noises, the fighters fighting each other. The Russian and Chinese against the Americans, some planes falling from the sky. But did uh, they didn't crash on us, but some around us. So in other words, the, the planes were falling from the sky in this firefight in Texas there. And uh, it, it didn't hit them, but it, it uh, fell around some uh, around them. They were protected. He said, Brother, that was the first part. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then the Lord showed me even more. With this going on then in the spiritual realm, there were like brilliant shining white fighters and these were dark black ones they were far superior to any man-made fighters the white ones were whipping the black ones then as a as intense as it was i woke up asking the lord what was all this and he says he said this is what the number 37 is all about he's referencing a dream i had about that number that meant war war my son as I have revealed this to my son Paul, that you have been seeing this number everywhere. This is what is coming, little uh, like sudden destruction, my son. The dream shows you with children, my children. You have been called to show and teach them the way to go. You have been called to watch over my children. Your part is to pray for them, teach them my truth, and encourage them to keep going. You are my servant and have matured, grounded in my word and led by my Holy Spirit for such a time as this. Yes, you stumble and make mistakes. No one is totally complete in me until you come home. You are on the right path. Be encouraged. I am with you and will never leave you. You and Paul and my daughters Gail and Brenda are to stand for Christ and let, and let not this world or your flesh keep you from serving me. Do not let anyone discourage you. We are at the final moments before the sudden destruction comes, and you all will be with me. Your mission will be done, and the path I have put you on will be completed. Now share the rest with my son Paul. And he says, Okay, brother, as the Lord leads and commands, this is the real exciting part. As we are with the children of God running to the apartments, there is a loud trumpet shofar sounding 
not like I have ever heard, so powerful that it shakes the ground under our feet, a loud voice saying, come up hither. We were looking up, we could see our Savior and Lord bright and shining brighter than the sun, but not hurting our eyes. A pure light, his glory, amen. Then we were changed instantly to a perfect body, white robes that shined brightly. We look so young and glorified, and we fly up instantly like real fast, a twinkle of an eye. It was so real, brother. There was such a release knowing no more struggle, no more dealing with this flesh and failing our Lord in the flesh, no more two natures, but only a holy nature, only a holy spirit, amen, hallelujah. The last thing was what the Lord showed me about what was going on in the world. All these planes and fighters turned on each other. At first, the Russian and Chinese were against the Americans, but then it shifted, and they were now fighting each other. Like the Word of God says, they will turn on themselves and each other. <clears throat> the other thing the Lord told me, brother, it will start conventional and then go nuclear. That is when the church is taken, that when the church is taken, all hell will break out, sudden destruction, God have mercy. Then the Lord pointed out again about what he revealed to you. 3-7 means war, and what he pointed out to me. I don't think I have shared this with you, but I will now. 3-7 also means 3, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 7, God's perfect way and will. Amen. The last thing the Lord revealed is that as the nations turn against me and against my people Israel and my land and my city, their fate is sealed. You are studying it now. We're doing Revelation in our sermons, the book of Revelation. So when you see the number 37, pray for the lost souls who still need me. Pray for the lukewarm and backslidden to repent before it is truly too late. It is all about souls now. By the choices of the nations turning from the true living God and turn to Satan, the God of this world. Their fate is sealed. The judgment and wrath is coming from my holy anger and righteous indignation. Pray for my created children to come home to me before the gate of heaven is closed. Your righteous King Jesus forever. Amen. <clears throat> and he goes on to say that was the, the most intense and so real dream he's ever had. Then when I woke up, a vision of the second glorious part. Amen. The time for this is very soon. We need to look to Jesus, to trust in Jesus like never before. Now as we see this number, we are to pray and intercede for the ones around us who need to trust in Jesus as Savior and Lord before it is too late. Amen. Miracles, signs, and wonders. And since he sent me this yesterday, I've been seeing that number everywhere, and I've been doing a lot of praying. God bless you.